This is Ram from 1349 and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos TV. Hey, this is the Iron Serbian with Capital Chaos TV and we're hanging out here with Olaf. Yes. And Elise of Amaranth. Amaranth, that's a, that's a cool name. You, uh, Thank you, very much. you were originally called uh, Avalanche, is that there correct? You, you done yeah, well, that was actually jo just when we had three songs, so that really don't, doesn't really count, I think. Okay. Now, um, Amaranth is the team we're now, that's Amaranth. Avalanche was something else. All right. Project. I'm assuming from that name and being that you're from Sweden, you may be avid skiers, is that correct? Not really, it's been 15 years since I was skiing last time. I'm not really that good at it, but it's fun. Okay, and you, are you much I'm, for the ice? I love skiing. Um, my mom lived in Åre, which is like the best ski place in Sweden. So for you who haven't been in Sweden, you should visit Åre, it's a very beautiful place. But you have good skiing here in the States too. But anyway, so I, I've been doing that a lot. I like the snow, I like ice skating. Are you a follower of uh, ice sports at all? Do you have a favorite uh, skater or whatnot? Uh, okay, I, that would probably be my boyfriend, who is a professional ice hockey player. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I like actually, I love ski, figure skating. I think it's really fun to watch. So uh, your first CD came out 2011, yes. and then 2013 came uh, uh, the Nexus, and 2014 is your massive addictive. Yes. And uh, why, why why both albums came out within? a uh, short amount of time. Because we love to write songs. Exactly. And I mean, <laughs> we're touring a lot, but uh, every time that we're not uh, touring, we, we tend to sit down and, you know, work on the ideas that we get from touring, especially, you know, meeting all the awesome fans, great journalists like yourself. Oh, wow. And um, it's all very inspirational. So as soon as we come back home, we, the creativity is just flowing. So there is no reason for us not to do it. If we feel that we have the inspiration for it, then we could probably have re released seven albums in the same amount of time and they would still be you know pretty damn good so we're still gonna keep the same pace as long as we have that amount of inspiration as long as people keep digging it exactly as and long buying as we your have music. fans we want to give them new songs and yeah. as long as we have a label who support us still we just want to try to put out as many albums as possible yes uh, the, the reaction to the uh, people have bought the album the reaction is good for the, the most recent album Oh, it's been amazing. I just in here in America, it's been we've been selling ten times the amount of of the last album. But the most important thing, of course, is not the album sales. It's uh, at the end of the day, the reaction and the response that it's creating. And when you see people are you know in the audience singing true, for example, and they really sing it with their eyes closed, and they can really feel something in their hearts, then you know that you have achieved something that you set out to do. So it's an amazing feeling. And True is your uh, most recent video, which I'm assuming uh, is your boyfriend is in this video? No, oh. he's not. Okay. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> but there's some, some good sportsman-like conduct going oh, on yeah. in this video. Yeah, I don't know exactly who those people are, actually, because I wasn't uh, there. Our other singer is Jake's old team that he used to play with when he was like 16, 17. I, I think it's Frö Lunda också. Isn't that Frö Lund Frö uh, Lunda? It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's a big arena in, in, in Gothenburg. Right. But the team that is actually on, on the ice, that's up in uh, Jake's hometown. Oh, very with, cool. With this, yeah. Very cool. So you're able to keep it local. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very cool, very cool. And uh, it smells like garlic in here. Are you warding off something that's already here, or are you trying to ward something off that's not here yet? The thing is, I'm a vampire, and uh, Elise is trying to keep me on a certain distance. So she ate a lot of garlic fries, so. I see. Now, mi minimum safe distance is two feet, three feet. What is your excuse? These are the best fries I ever had. They are like garlic fries. Oh, from the place next door. Yes, yeah. uh, and you know why I did that? Because I actually had a little pain in my chest and throat, so I thought I need a lot of garlic. And I feel so much better. Garlic is very good if you're feeling a little bit like sick. In case you're a vampire. Thanks. And if you're a vampire, you, you need that too. I think. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, is that like if you're a vampire? You scare away vampires with garlic, right? Okay. Right, to ward them off. But I don't want to do that. You're I need to go and brush my teeth. What do you do to get rid of garlic smell? Do you have any tips? Um, cigarettes. Oh no, Oof. 
I don't smoke. Oh, okay, good. I wouldn't do that. But uh, okay, nothing else. Car lemon. Mouthwash. Oh, alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> Mouthwash. <laughs> I think it's it's probably a, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put on some perfume and like brush my teeth and right. hand sanitizer in in on the tongue. Or do you find uh, it difficult uh, in the uh, in the rock and roll world to be a woman uh, in, in a male-dominated genre? Not really. Oh, that was. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. See, no, not anymore. No, I'm extremely used to it. Uh, I don't even think about it anymore, actually. Do you get much screams from men to remove your clothing from the stage? No, actually, it's more the opposite. That the girls scream. For the boys to strip. Nice. The Take guys are actually very nice. I have to say, our fans, you're you are very nice and like polite and gentleman. And I know you wouldn't do that to me. And uh, so much. So Maybe much once it happened. <laughs> like show your boobs. That was probably not. I don't know who that was. But. Not so often, no. Good, good. It's sort of rude and disrespectful. The thing is, like, no, but, yeah. it's, but just because you have a pussy and boobs doesn't mean that you're a sex object, and it doesn't mean that you have to show those parts of your body, you know? I mean, it would be very fun if the world was built like this, that girls screamed for guys to show their dick all the time, but that's just not, like, how it is, you know? I, I never thought... So, I'm gonna go to concerts in the future screaming, show your dick! And like having signs like, show your penis, show your... Or like, but the thing is like, you know, it could have been that way, but it didn't just... The world just didn't turn out that way because probably girls are not as interested in the man's body as men are in the females. That's a shame. I know, it sucks! <laughs> But the thing is, like, we could change that. We could change it, like, no, really? t it's like in one year, two years. With education. In all concerts, ladies just go crazy, like. But you know what? The thing is, like, guys, usually also, especially in this industry, they are very like sex object. How do you call it? Object objectified. Objectified. Because they are like, but metal is a really sexy genre, I think. And guys always play topless. <laughs> Almost guitar yeah. players, drummers. You know they're sexy guys, and they like sex uh, to sexualize themselves. So we don't really need to ask for it. Absolutely. Sweden. Yeah. So much great music has come out in Sweden, from Grave to Dark Funeral to ABBA to Rock Set. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. how, how much uh, influence has like uh, uh, Swedish death metal and Swedish pop had on you both as musicians? Uh, for, for me, I can confess my. First idols ever and favorite band besides Queen was ABBA. And I was me, like I my, crazy about ABBA. For yeah. me, I think my first idols, even before Michael Jackson, was uh, Roxette as okay. well. And it kind of, uh, I grew up with that music, of course, ABBA, that's part of Absolutely. your, you know, mother's milk if you're growing Absolutely. up in, in Sweden. <laughs> and, and, and for any European yeah. for that matter. For yeah, any yeah, European, exactly. for that matter. Exactly. And then, on top of that, I was also growing up with the you know, Swedish melodic death metal scene in the mid-90s as well. Okay. So, the, yeah, it was, I think, both me and Lise in the different oh. ways, and in some ways also similarly, extremely influenced by Swedish music. That's yeah, right. and I also forget to say, my brother was a growler in death metal band as uh, Abandon and Revel Renegade... Revel what was the name of them again? I don't remember. Uh, but um, so I went to a lot of live shows, uh, even when I was like five years old or something, and that was really, really death, more than death. That was like underground death metal. Wow. So yeah, that probably ins inspired you, in <laughs> or in how do you say? Influenced. 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 Yeah, yeah. Influenced. Cool. And uh, what do you uh, do? You guys read much or listen to music uh, mostly in your free time? No, I, I read quite a bit, actually. Are you a, a non-fiction reader, fiction, or all Ab of the Absolutely non-fiction, like right. history, li literature, right. and stuff like that. Mm. And have you read anything lately that you care to, uh, to let anybody uh, uh, know? I'm currently reading um, a book about Roman history. It's, it's something that I've read too much about, almost. Oh, okay. But it's always interesting. And for you, music uh, in your spare time, a reading, or what is, I, what is I, you? I listen to music all the time. Cool. Anything uh, in your uh, iPod or whatnot that you've uh, had on repeat? Uh, well, um, 
I listen a lot to the... First I, I had a hookup on Lana Del Rey. I listen a lot to her. I listened to her every night on the last tour before I went to bed. And uh, then after that I got a hookup on the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack. Oh. Uh, so that's, I listen to it when I go, to, if, yeah, like anytime. Actually yesterday when I went to the gym, which was a little depressing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's the ones lately. All right. And then what's next for you guys? This is uh, the end of this tour with the Butcher Babies, and is it Low Water? What's next? Low Water. Low Water. Yeah. Um, next is just to, to, to go home and uh, you know start to uh, work on the new record. We already have a lot of ideas that we want to develop, so it's going to be super exciting, actually. All right. Well, thank you for your time. It was very nice to meet you. Have a great show. <laughs>